Last week, there was only one homicide, a shooting in Chozel where one man tried to stop a robber and was killed in the process. However, this week started with a Sunday night shooting in Babono, and now the Prime Minister is saying that he is tired of losing valuable human capital for no good reason. Losing one life is too much. We, we, we have lost a few, and, and I'm very concerned, uh, very concerned about it. However, he also pointed out that there is a widespread bias when it comes to covering the activities of young men. The majority of young men in St. Lucia are ambitious, they're forward thinking, they're hard working, and what makes it worse is that the few, the few, and it's the few, who happen to fall through the cracks seem to be getting a lot more exposure than the hundreds who are doing very well. We found that when I speak to, to young people, young men in particular, they find sometimes that the system is unfair to them. Because what they see is that we're doing so many things. We, we, we are involved in semi-professional football. We, we are involved in, in, in small businesses. We, some of us are involved in little projects trying to achieve a better quality of life. And only what you hear about is the three or four who are killing each other. He also noted that St. Lucia is not the only country ravaged by waves of violent crime. The entire Caribbean seems to be caught in that devastating murder of young people. The entire Caribbean. Prime Minister Pierre hoped that more young people would avail themselves of the opportunity to join the youth economy and other social programs geared toward making government spending turn into personal profits for them. We are funding many social programs. We're trying to see if we can get young people involved in the youth economy, where they can turn their hobbies, what they like, into businesses. There are a lot more happening in St. Lucia than the negative things. The Prime Minister says the government's plans to establish four technical, educational and vocational schools all over the island will afford young people even more opportunities to escape to a better life. For Choice News Now, I'm Jason Seafley.